Oh, Captain, my Captain. Captain, urgent news from the General. Why not really blow it up, Captain? Captain Glob, barking at the hospital and fire. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. My Captain. No, Captain, they're alive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is your captain speaking. Welcome to Captain's Log number 10. Double digits, baby. Dude, 10. Heck yeah. Like, that's that's pretty cool. Didn't know how many we'd get when we started this thing. Uh, but it's been one of my favorite segments that we do. I Yeah. Just getting I, to talk about Unmatched. Playing Unmatched is great, but like... So much to talk about. There's so much to talk about. Yeah, you, you, who would think that you could just talk about a game? Like, they just keep coming with new stuff. There's new things. There's new tournaments. There's new sets. Yeah, like when I started doing my uh, my my tier lists on ranking the videos, or ranking the sets, mm. um, that was I, was, fun. I was like, okay, well, I've got... Because like, okay, you just started out, I was like, okay, let me just do my my favorite thing, which we're gonna do tonight. We're yeah. gonna do our favorites. I was like, let me just do my favorites. I was like, well, I can't. I mean, how do you how do you do that? How do you judge that? It's so tough. So it can't just be that. Okay, well, what if someone's new to the hobby? Okay, well then this set. Well, what if they? I got I've got like thirteen. Okay, different. For just the sets. Different sets. Yeah, just for sets. You got value, competitive, theme, two different kinds of theme because there's yeah. like, how does it feel? Like there's there's a lot. The um, value one too is so hard. Like I think that's the first one you did. Yeah, it was. That's the hardest one I think because. But also like the most important to a lot of people. It is no, it's the most important. But like, what do you value? Right. Do you want fun? Do you want you, you want well, a and good that's mix why, of so that's why I have, and fun right. and all that stuff. Yeah. Like a, the best bang for your buck. Um, yeah, it's hard to. Number one, sling and arrows, dude. I think dude, slings is moving up. It's moving up. Every every little release that they give, I know it's getting everybody dude, I'm crazy. So excited. <laughs> Like, Looking at the characters is like, dude, they, they yeah. look so good. We already are like, you know, cult of the new. That's just the board game thing. It's like, man, new thing. We're excited for it. Yeah. Um. And, and this is just playing to that. It's just play. It's like it's just getting us. They're getting better at releasing. They are. And like, they used to like put out a video, like the day pretty yeah. much started, and you could just see everything. Yeah. And I like what they're doing now. It makes more I think sense. it's out of necessity. I think that was how they're doing it. It makes more sense from a business sense as right. well. Um, but like where they're teasing it, they're building up anticipation. Yeah. It, yeah, I like that. It's I hate it and I like it. <laughs> I know. I, I yeah. Just know. It's like no, it's like here's it. a card, but not the here's the name of the ability for for uh, Hamlet. Hamlet. That sounds weird saying it. That's his name, right? Hamlet. It sounds weird. Just uh, it's been a long day. Okay. Did we, they reveal his ability? They revealed the name of the ability and then a card. Uh, Dark Blade did today. Um, mm. But uh, okay, before before I go on, guys, a uh, huge shout out to the Crockpots. We have Bromantic, Greg's Vlasinski, Six Nineteen Sports, Chick Charney, O Town, Shy Guy for Smash. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and. Um, we're not going to watch the Chuck Norris thing. You guys have been, have been spamming that on you guys. Uh, we're going to get right back into the, the video that, to this, right back into our conversation. Um, so, the title of this video is uh, Captain's Log, Episode 10, Winner Champion's Thoughts, Favorite Sets, and then Random Point and Random Video. So... Random point in a random video. It is. That's, a, that's in the name. Wait, what? What? That sounds, sounds familiar. What does that mean? I'm so confused. Okay, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you are confused, aren't you? I'm very confused. So, um, some people would be like, oh. um, but then some people are like, I have no idea what's going on. And then someone just left. Um, <laughs> so, so you do this. Yeah, they're like, oh, but that's too much for me. Uh, I just channel my inner Joel. Uh, you guys don't know him, but classic fella oh, man. so all right winner champions phantom x yeah well, well done deserved, dude. well done you crushed it yeah you were a force oh, uh my gosh. and i'm and i'm you know what so on the day on the day i did not watch uh we came from church yeah we rushed home 
We were um, so excited. We're excited to watch it. Yeah. Oton's like, it's zero, and it's Chad. I'm like, I'm excited. I had no no doubts in my mind that that's what was, that was the matchup. And we get in there, and I'm like... I don't know where I saw I was that, I was watching. But... I was like, this is not zero or Chad. And I immediately was like, okay, this must be, like, are they playing for a third? <laughs> I legitimately asked that, and they laughed in the they laughed at my response, and then, and that's all I said. And so I'm like, it must. They must not be playing for third, and I went into the the unmatched thing, and I couldn't see the results. They yeah. didn't show who had won the previous stuff. I was like, what am I watching right now? I I shot a message to who did I shoot it to? The Cyclone. Yeah. And he's like, no, this is the real deal. And I was like, no. Way they both lost. Chad and Zero lost. Are you yeah. kidding me right now? Uh, so, I was like shocked, and also happy. When you when the kings yeah. go down, it gives you hope, right? Yeah. I'm not happy that anybody bit. loses ever. Sure. But I had hope, because I was so I would have bet money that it would have been Zero and Chad in the finals, for the next thirty years. I mean, I don't know. Like, okay, so here's what I think happened. I think I saw Zero's post, but it was like maybe, maybe I didn't realize it was from the the day before, and it was like, it was like, hey, will I be able to claim my third trophy or something in a row? Mm. And so I assumed gotcha. that meant, oh, Zero made it to the finals, and then I saw, I, I can't, I don't know where I saw Chad advance, but, um. I, I can't remember, but I thought it was Chad and Zero, I think based on Zero's initial post, but I didn't realize it was from Saturday uh, or the day before Saturday or something right. like that. Um, but, dude, I, uh, I, I played against Phantom, like, a little over a year ago. Mm -hmm. The first He was in my group, the first Winter Champions. Right. First time, I think that was his first tournament that he participated in. He swept the group. He went 12-0 and in our group, and... I knew just playing him, I was like, this guy is going to be, he, he will be champion at some point. He has played more than anybody. Yep. Um, so, rumor has yeah. it. I don't think anyone has logged more. It's between him, Floam, and Zero. And Zero said he's played more, so I'm guessing I'm guessing Phantom has played the most. Um, and I haven't I haven't seen Floam in a minute on the, on Discord. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's logged a he's, bunch. And then the Dark Horse... Botterham. Botterham. Yeah. And and it was like, there were moments when we were watching where I was like, how did he win? How did he get here? And then he pulled off the craziest plays, mm -hmm. and then someone posted, you were wondering how Botterham got here. I think it was, That's how. It was either cos it was Cosmic. <laughs> it might have been it might uh, be, Cosmic Zap, I think or, so. Or, or uh, I think it was Chocolate cosmic. Rain. It might have been Chocolate Rain. Ooh, it was one yeah, of those you're two. Right, you're they, right, have, right. they have such good in-game like, comments. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was... Because he played different than anybody we had seen. Yeah. Super, super aggressive, not conventional, uh, and he took down some big players to get to number two. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I I have not seen the matches for the semifinals, and I want to watch those. Me too. I want to um, watch. We could do it. We could do a watch party. Uh, it was cool. It was cool doing a watch party. That was fun. That was super fun. Uh, oh, definitely the way to watch it. Yeah. So going forward, that's I think that's what we'll do. Um, 100%. And then, all right, uh, let's look at their fighters. Let's look at the matchups. Do you remember I the matchups? It. I have it pulled up. Okay, let's look at that. So let's talk about the draft initially. So okay. Phantom ended up drafting Bigfoot, Houdini, Widow, InGen, and Luke Cage. Okay. Uh, and then Botterham went Yen, Jill Trent, Little Red, which is a surprising pick, Black Panther, and the Genie. Um, Black so Panther got banned? Panther got banned by uh, Phantom. Phantom, which is surprising to me. That's cool. Means he probably wanted to play Houdini, and maybe uh, he just didn't want to deal with Black Panther. He probably didn't. He might have just not wanted to deal. But Can you see the self ban? Who is the self ban? There is no self ban for Arsenal. There's just one ban. You have four. Is that right? You just assign. They just assign. <laughs> uh, you know. Those okay. So, when we looked at the matchups, I remember thinking, okay, Botterham needs to win these middle ones. Because if he doesn't, he, the last two were really tough. It was... Oh, man, It yeah. was uh, 
Little Red into InGen. Yeah. And it was Daredevil into... Yeah. Oh, no, no. Uh, Jill Trent into Daredevil, which would be really, an absolute really nightmare. Bad. Wait, yeah, I don't see the six. I guess for best of five, they pick six. I don't see the six pick here, but I know we do know they had Daredevil. Um, and uh, what, whatever the other one was. All right, real quick. Here we go. We're looking at the... Uh, so, <laughs> Cosmic. Yeah, it is Cosmic. He's just so... He's, he's a witty guy, okay? He goes... Wait, Chad didn't win again? <laughs> Demand a recount. Um, Zero goes, Phantom has played way more than I ever have since he started competing, which was Soul 2. Oh, he started Soul 2. 2. Uh, okay. Except for matchup of the month, I could literally count my number of UM games in the past year by two. Dang. Oh, yeah. That's crazy, Zero. That's rough. Uh, but if we're talking number of all-time plays, I'm not sure if Phantom has more. Okay. Right. Right, right, right. right. Makes sense. So, so Zero is having to play less because of life. Uh, and Phantom's getting to play more because of life. And uh, and sometimes that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. We don't get to play nearly as much as we would like Dude, to either. you guys have no idea. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when we're playing, we're on stream. That's pretty much it. Pretty um, much it, yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate. And, and it should be that every game we're playing, like because of how little we play, every game should be streamed. Probably, yeah. We're getting to that point. We just... There's... And it's a, this is a small room. This is not like a studio. This is my living room, my, my dining room, or what, that used to be a dining room. Uh, dining. dining room, yeah. Now it's, <laughs> there's no way you could eat in here. Uh, it is just games. We have eaten in here, but while playing Unmatched. Yeah, it's not a, a <laughs> formal dining room. Um, but yeah, I thought the games were, were great, super fun. Uh, the, the, I didn't see the first one. The Dracula game. I didn't Dude, see the first one either. The Dracula game. That's when I, I was like, Botterham's a... That's the first game we saw, and that was like Barham's yes. world class player for yes. Uh, it got a little bit, little bit. It got a little scary there. A little uh, iffy. But in Phantom, I don't know what happened to him, but he's like, you know what? Oh, you know what? It was tunnel vision. That's right. He had tunnel vision of I need to get two um, misdirections to win this to close it out. Yeah. And that is such a that is such a Houdini trap, and it happens all the time. Is all right. They're at four health. I need to, I need to just run through my deck, yep. get the misdirections, and win. But when he when he looked at his hand, he saw that he had two heals. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, Chad it, he, he chucked one yeah. out, right? He chucked one out. I think so. He took out, yeah. He took out the uh, the baptism. Yeah. Left him with the uh, prey. Um, the prey upon. Yeah. Did does that mean he top decked? In his next two maneuvers, did he top deck a? That's not top deck, but did he draw the the? Um, Misdirections that he needed. No, 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 no. What's uh, Dracula's uh, misform? Did, is that how that worked out? I can't remember exactly, but I think Chad made a good point where he said that to mi take the big reveal to to. Uh, yes. To big reveal the misdirection. Yes. And the, the 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 way that you win against Electra, do that. That's the way that you win against a lot of people. Right. I think. I think big revealing the misdirection is like a really not a slept on play, but it's like it's probably the optimum play for you a lot can of people. get you can get if you if you did right if you did all of them, you would have six damage from the original three. Yeah, and you get two extra ones. That's ten damage from misdirection. Additionally, to whatever you're right. using it to boost with, right? So that's the thing is it's it's a three essentially a three boost. The misdirection is when you use it in big reveal. But the, the difference is that you can replay it later without right. having to attack. It. And you're damaging the thing that you're not attacking. Yes. So, okay, let's talk about uses of that because, so, Faintless, um, you attack Daisy and mm -hmm. you can you can nuke uh, Jill. You attack, yeah. uh, sure, no, sure you can do it. Uh, Huntsman, you can nuke Red, even though that would never be a situation you would want to do that probably. But you yeah, probably would never there are scenarios where you could, you know, you attack the small thing to kill the big the big boy, um, but yeah, that was or, uh, that or was interesting. For Electra, right? You attack a uh, yeah a ninja. You could Same literally thing. Literally attack a ninja with a big reveal. Same thing. Yeah. And uh, you know, get value out of it by just killing, getting to Electra. Right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, Zero's like he wishes he could play more, but he can't. Uh, Metosis been telling people to play Drac, but no one listens. And what happens? When someone plays Drac, <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mitosis is so wise, knows all. <laughs> I we, love it. We should do... Dude, Jack, Jack is so fun. Next Captain's Log, we should do Slept On. Slept On fighters. fighters? Fighters that maybe have gotten left, that used to be... 
that got that have, have kind of been left behind. Yeah, we just got an influx of uh, of good topics and questions and things to talk about. So we'll hit those in future future ones. Uh, if you guys have them, um, shoot them to to me. Uh, put them in the chat, whatever. Um, the, and then uh, we'll see if we get to them. Um, Speaking of slept on, he also pulled out InGen, who like super yeah. slept on. I feel like. Um, and that was also animals like bread and butter. Yep, dude, I love InGen. I love InGen. I hate him. I Why? Hate him so much. I he's as playing as playing against. More playing against. He's he's so good. He's, yeah, I I. Uh... He's so fun, because you can play him very, like so many different ways. Yeah, no, he's good. And when I've played as him, I enjoy it. But um, there's so much uh, with the traps. I don't know. Maybe I just don't. I don't feel like placing traps or, or like having to math out exactly like where how many traps I want to place where, where I mean it, it, it's fun like I don't oh that's funny okay. I don't hate hate InGen but playing against InGen is is very annoying oh I love it um, um I don't love I, so I, when I play against him it's just like okay let's go for fatigue and I'm just gonna wait to pull your traps up and then run over them that was something Botterham right never did Botterham multiple times ran over a trap and it was never to make him overdraw. And, yeah. th and that was like, dude, you have to like wait till his hand gets to the max and then trap. Yeah. And it was like, okay, let me trap and give him give him a hand. And then he then he was sitting there like, Okay, cool, I've got these cards. I don't have to attack you. Let me and then like so there were some missed opportunities there. Um that's that might just be an experience thing, you know. Some people have never played against uh or not never played, but they don't play a lot against certain fighters, especially fighters like if you're just now coming in, you're not playing against Drac, you're not playing against InGen, you're not playing against Little Red, you're playing against, you're playing against all the new ones, right? Yeah. All the new meta. You're playing against uh, Tales to Amaze. You're playing against Marvel sets. Yeah. So you're not you're not getting the OGs that were coming out. Even, maybe even Battle of Legends Volume Two. Like, no one plays Wukong anymore. Dude, yeah, another one. Dude, Wukong could I he could Wukong. he could sweep the tourneys. Buffy, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there was a tournament. Listen, when my first tournament, Buffy was like seven and zero. She was seven and zero, and it was like all against the Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Raptors another one. Shy guy and I talk about this a lot. How kind of like slept on the Raptors are. Yeah, they're they're, they're they, very like you know swingy. They're so swingy. But like, yeah. dude, they can they have a surprising number of like good matchups. Um, I think they're just hard to play. Something to analyze. Uh, looking at looking at the fighters they chose, uh, specifically Phantom X, since he won the whole thing. Yeah. He has super. I love. What what, what did he do? Did he did he go like so balance? Has, what does he have here? He has four super well rounded. Okay. Uh, which I really like that. I I like going for three, maybe four, super well rounded, um, and the well rounded ones that he picked: Bigfoot, Widow, Ingen, Luke Cage. Uh, are all very you can go one way. And Ingen's Ingen is rounded because he can play a really he can aggro play game. A mean fatigue game. Move or, three yeah. range, yeah. Um, all your guys, and then you can also just sort of like just get just, behind your traps, yeah, wall up, and just move. Yeah, so so you're right. And who's the fifth fighter? And then Houdini, who is the obviously the dark horse who yeah. he can pull out, which is the one he hand. actually lost with. Yeah, which it's interesting. I mean, in a in a Pretty fifty-fifty matchup mm -hmm. with Drac, but I heard game one was really good. The, I uh, did too. Genie Bigfoot. That's a tough. That's a tough matchup. Yeah. Uh, for Genie. Um. um uh, by the way, guys, hats off to the commentating. Yeah. Excellent. Great, great commentating. That's the, that four. That's that. I like that four a lot. That yeah. was uh. We had Dark Blade, Big Goods, Big Goods Chad, and Zero. Because you get the you get the experience experience. And, and like high level comment like and analysis from the Chad and from uh, from Zero. Of course, Darkblade knows his crap too, and yeah. Baker's does too. But Baker's there for jokes. The color, <laughs> the color commentary. Yeah, so uh, Darkblade's there to laugh at at his jokes, <laughs> and uh, and then everyone's either there to roast Chad. But mostly roast zero, and it's hilarious. It's really it's fun. hilarious it's because really he wins so much, you big, can roast him. Dude, Taylor went after zero so hard. It was so it good. Was so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> um, and you could also also like when there were moments where I was like, I think Chad is going to jump 
through their screen and attack Baked Goods. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there were a few he moments. would say something, and then Baked would say something back, and then Chad would be like, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, that was uncalled. That's, yeah, yeah, like, that was, yeah, we were sitting there like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but hilarious, guys. Great teamwork. I know that you, you guys are all friends, so it works out. Yeah. Um, and we can hear that. We can sense it. So really good. Uh, the chemistry was awesome. It was um, great. But yeah. Uh, Winner Champions. Um, all right. Let's move. Let's move on. I don't know how much time that has been so oh, far. Oh, real but, quick, dude. Yeah. Also, Masterful Widow. Widow Yen is like one of the, my favorite matchups has been. Did we see favorite. that one? We did. Uh, that was the third oh, did, game. Did, uh, did um, Botterham win as... No, no, Botterham, uh, Phantom won it. That was kind of the turn of the tide. It was, right. we watched the second game. The second game, we were like, man, Botterham played a great, like, really clinical right. end game. And then it's, Phantom just kind of started to slowly, with Widow, just very clinical. Yep. Had lots of really good interactions. And then that kind of turned the tide. And then the last game was just kind of. Like I bet a thousand on that game. I won both, both my bets. I, yeah. I love betting on the, I'm always, I'm always in the chat like, predictions, predictions. <laughs> <laughs> Please give me the predictions. I oh want to gamble. Um, but yeah, I, I bet a thousand on that one. Uh, I won both of mine. Um, Aaron committed way too hard. Too yeah. Hard. Yeah. Well, yeah. it was tough because he committed. You have to, it's like you you have to do it. Yeah. it. It's sort of like the Jill one where you commit hard if you can win it. He what what happened was Phantom did some things as like obvious baits. Obviously, I want you to attack Murray here. Yeah. And at that level, the chance that they are just going to leave Maria out to actually die and not have the cards to protect her, very, very low. Yeah. So the fact that he just left her there so just like egregiously, mm -hmm. it, it told me like, okay, don't don't shoot her here. Um, she, she has a zero. It's going to happen. Or do something else, right? Uh, there was a... I forget what it was. It was like he could have he could have indirectly. Oh, yeah. He, so he could have done the the stallion charge, through and right, through. and yeah. run through. Cause she, she, was at, she was at one health. Yep. So that kind of stuff. Um, now I think that when they talked about it, that he thought that he probably had one of the cancels because she's got she's six got ways to cancel those. So. Yeah. But yeah, really interesting stuff. Um, yeah, committed way too hard to Maria. I thought there was someone else. I thought I saw another comment on. Yeah, Zap said. I think he said he was really surprised that he saw Widow Yen twice in the top four. But, I mean, Widow is like... We talked about it when we did our um, our tournament for Best Fighter of 2023. And Widow just does so well into right. the best fighters. Yep. Um, into the top tier. You know, she's an A tier that... Did she? Who really won the whole thing? I think it was Strange. Right. No surprise. No surprises there. Um, okay. But... All right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, great tournament. Great walk. Uh, excited for the next thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one will be, of course, well, we got Team League. People are excited about Team League, but. I'm so excited for Team League. Team League is. Listen. Are the Joes. Are the, we're, we're sticking together. Oh, we're sticking together. Yeah, for sure. It's just too game. much time. It's, it's so, so time consuming. It so much it's time. like you start, you start Team League. By the time we finish in this season, Levi's going to be four. Like, it's going to be, his, he will age before my eyes. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, yeah, just so much time is, is, is... I had to take so many long lunches at work. <laughs> <laughs> to, like... You should... Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, so... Not so many. I took, like, two, um, I took like two long lunches. That's funny. But it's just... Um, sitting so, but, yeah, uh, Team League's coming up. We also have our, uh, the next... What's it going to be? The, the next... Uh, so we just did Walk. So Summer Legend, Soul. So mm -hmm. we got Soul coming up. And that will be Band Quest again, I assume. They keep tweaking stuff. So maybe it's Band Quest 2.0 or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Favorite sets. Let's get into favorite sets. So I've been I've been on a, on a tear, guys. I think we're inside the, the PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, so I've been on a tear with these... Tier lists. Yeah. And one I wanted to just cut to talk about and just like just go through was favorite sets. Because how do you do it? It's how do you do it? Like it was so hard. Was it hard for you? Uh the the yeah, you know what was weird? 
finding sets that I didn't like was really hard. Right. But also then the top, my top like five I spent. Did you put them in tier time. lists? Yeah, I put it in a tier list. Okay, okay, cool. It helped But me. you also have the numbers? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, I haven't pulled it. Yeah, yet. guys, what are your favorite sets? Let us know. Favorite sets. There are so many factors, what, 18, and right? and what's crazy for my favorite sets is like it's not consistent. So like one set might be like super high because of the art, mm. but then I don't care at all about that for another set. Like, yeah, the, I'm inconsistent and I don't care, and it was interesting. Mm. So I tried to weigh all the factors. All right, favorite sets. The oh, by the way, guys, you who are listening, you will get a head start. This is for only those in America. This is the random point in the random video oh. that you can win a set. I have many sets available. You lucky few who are listening will have a head start. You're on a scavenger hunt. All right? And this is the scavenger hunt. I will give you one clue, and then you must go looking through my videos to find it. My toast just goes, slings in it. Well, because oh, they're different favorite, favorite sets. sets. Favorite sets. Riley, so, your last three comments are on point, by the way. Guys, I, uh, on once point. I say this clue, I expect you to, to go away. You can come back and listen at some point. But uh, the first person to, well, I'm not going to say any more than this. The, you will understand as you go. Someone will have to decipher the clues to get there. Your clue is uncontested. I will say it one more time. Your clue is uncontested. I will give you guys a day, I guess. A day. If uh, maybe 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 longer. Actually, I'll give you guys till Tuesday. If I don't get a winner by Tuesday, uh, I will give you guys another clue. So uh, we'll see who the winner is. Who wins the set? Happy hunting. So favorite uh, and oh uh, and you can't win. Okay. That's fine. And if anyone is in this in a video, like in person, you also cannot win. So Greg's holy and Greg's holy, you cannot win. And Riker. And Riker. <laughs> <laughs> Riker, you can win, buddy. You can win. <laughs> That's so funny, Riker. I'm not gonna stop him from winning. All right. Um, so favorite sets. We starting from the bottom, right? Because it's yeah. yeah. This is America. This is America, and we are gonna start from the bottom. Uh, number eighteen. I'll go first. Cause, cause, age before beauty. Age before beauty, exactly. It's never been more true, unfortunately. Uh, speaking of, guys, I saw a video of myself with my shirt off, running around. Recently, <laughs> it was grotesque. I was, I was like, flopping around. I should not have had my shirt off. He already and, and here's here's the problem. Okay, I was like, I'm gonna be on camera, so I was like sucking my 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 stomach in. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, I I went to the gym for the first time today. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Nice. My, my, it the just new one. it just opened. I'm so excited. Yeah. By grotesque guys, I'm just making fun of myself. Okay. Yeah. Um. But uh, it was like a wake up call. When you when you you can't unsee things. And I'm like, man, is that like, is that what I look like? It's scary, dude. Like, I I remember like uh, Facebook or no Apple like photos pulled up a memories of me. Jeez, right? That was my senior photos that you took at the rock climbing gym. Yeah. And I was like, man, that chiseled man. I was like, <laughs> how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> I know, dude. Back when we rock climbed, like, oh, dude, just jacked. I had my my abs had abs. Uh, now I can't find my abs. Yeah. Um, so, but guys, we are working out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm be taking before pictures, and then hitting the gym, getting it, getting it, and uh, boom. So, guys, uh, here we go. Number eighteen. Buffy. And that is F tier. Or that is sorry, that's not F tier. That is D tier. There is no F tier. That is D tier for me, and that is number eighteen. I, I, I mean, I don't need to say anything else, right? Like, that's it. Yeah. For me, that was, what, that was it. Yeah. Um, for me, it was a tie, but I'm going to say, just to be different, I'm going to say Deadpool. Okay. You don't own Deadpool? Which is why. Which is why. And that makes sense. I, under also, I understand that. If, you're talk if I'm talking, like, 
If I was gonna buy a set, also. See, you're putting. You're seeing now. You're doing the value thing. Okay. A little bit. Of See, value. so my my ranking is not. By the way, guys, this ranking is not. This is coming from the point of view of I own all the sets. You also can't play him competitively. I can. <laughs> Not legally. Not legally, is what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's yeah. kind of a useless, not useless, he's fun. He's so fun. But he's got a lot of, like, problems. It's a house rolling. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so that's I, why I, I he's my it. number I understand 18. It. Yeah, and he's $200. And he's only one fighter. So if you buy the set, <laughs> right. you have to buy in at least one more in order to even play him. Sure. Okay, so he's is your whole ranking just going to be you telling me back my value rankings? <laughs> Okay, just no, wanna. I just wanna get that clear not, before we continue. It's not okay. Um, you're just gonna it's like for, verbatim every. <laughs> that'd be really I funny. just have a screenshot of your video here. <laughs> yeah, with like the subtitles. <laughs> you're just reading them back to me. Yeah. Um, Let me scroll ahead. Okay, so that was your 18. My my yeah. 17 is Battle of Legends Volume One. Shocker, maybe I don't know. And that is now we're in C tier by the way. This is C tier. So Battle of Legends Volume One C tier. Number 17. I don't love any of the fighters. That's fair. I don't love the maps. I don't love the artwork. It's all just okay. And that's why it's 17. I I understand. I understand that. Uh, I enjoy a few of the fighters in that set a lot. Okay. So it's higher. And also, I do I personally consider value like Playability is really yeah. You're coming at it from a competitive standpoint, higher than than in other things, right? Is that what you're saying? Like, like I mean, Medusa being so high makes this set higher. Well, a little bit, but also like I think um, Medusa, Sinbad, and Alice are all fun to play. Oh, okay, fun to play. Right. You know, like Alice is still one of my like favorite. Like, it's just super fun. Uh, competitive? No, not really. I don't, you know, I don't love that. Alice. She's so much fun. Uh, Sinbad is gets he gets he's competitive. Sinbad's still decent, still viable. He's still um, not he's not my favorite, but like right. for me, that's it's a little higher. It is not much higher. Okay. So what's but your seven? What's your, well? Seven, by the way, the only the art my favorite art is King Arthur, and he's like one of my least favorite fighters. Like my favorite art in that set. Oh, in the set. In that okay, set. Like in the which game. is no in that set, which is where it's like that's why it's just like that's why it's low. Um, yeah. yeah. All right, what's your, uh, was it number 17? Uh, 17 is Buffy, because Buffy, they're okay. unplayable, basically. Right. Except Willow, actually. Yeah. I actually, I kind of like Willow a little bit. Okay. She's like, she's interesting. She's interesting. She's interesting. Yeah. Not good at all, but yeah. just interesting. Okay. So, but other than that. And the I'm maps. Actually, the maps are solid. Maps are, solid. are great. They're yeah. solid, very playable maps. Yeah. Um, my number 16 is Bruce Lee, and that's the end of C tier. And... I don't play a lot of Bruce Lee, and this this one I did factor in the value a little more. Like he's just a solo fighter. I don't play him very much. He's cool, but yeah, everything else I just love so much more than those three sets. Yeah, the fact that he's real. He's also my number sixteen, actually. Whoa. Um, yeah. So we. Our, no, okay, our bottom we're, we're pretty three close. Are all the same. No, 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 no. No, my Battle Legends volume oh, your one and your one. Deadpool was low. Right. Low. Um. But yeah, I think it's it's just it's hard when you only get one, and uh, he's I, he is super fun and like right. when he works the whole especially G, yeah when he works he's super fun. Um, but yeah, he's also just he's not my favorite fighter to play. Okay, he's he, he's he's fun to play, but he's he's got kind of just one thing. And he's pretty easy to shut down. Right, his what he does is very interesting. His little bounce away is really interesting. And it's very frustrating. Yeah. Super frustrating. Um, and he, when he works, he works really well. Yeah. Um, okay. Keep up the gym, Captain. Thanks. Um, oh, you're becoming a, a physical trainer. Cool. Congratulations on that. It's awesome. Um, that's Riley. And uh, Ooh. Nice. so let's see what you guys said. Let's, let's go back. There's been some comments here. Uh, not a fan of InGen. Riley says, Botterham committed too hard. Yeah, we did that. Uh, yep. Many games I ignore, Maria. So Houdini, that's Riley. It looks like they're going. So his favorite would be Houdini, Houdini Genie, Tales to Amaze, Deadpool is last, Buffy maps are fun. Mm. Uh, okay. And then uh, Mitosis says Slings and Arrows. That's it. That's it. I love it. <laughs> Mitosis. He's just only, he's, he's only in on slings. <laughs> uh, so 
my number 15 B tier is Robin Hood and Bigfoot. And it's a great set, but it's bland for me. It's, it's very meh uh, because it just, it is what it is. And, uh, like, I don't, I think I've said this before, but I don't like, if I have a card that says, like, kill the opponent, I'm never going to play that card. That's not a challenge. So, like, when he came out, it was like, all right, Bigfoot just throws sixes, and you have five feints, and, like, it's cool. I enjoy, I enjoy my games with him. Robin Hood is really fun to play. We don't play a lot of Robin Hood, though. I've been trying to play more. Right. He's, he's, he's very fun. He's hard, though. He's actually, he's really hard. When to do what? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I just, I want to get, he's very much my style. Yeah. But he's also just not as strong. Mm -hmm. But um, I do feel like that it's, he's, a, he's like one of the most positioning heavy fighters. Right. Uh, which is, like, it's funny because like you can reposition him more than pretty much anybody. Mm -hmm. But he's posi learning positioning with him and like, yeah, when to do what. And then the, the fact that we just don't play on UConn. And when you do, it's not a great game. Yeah. That's just how it goes down. It's always like, okay, when you if you play on UConn, it's not fun for someone. Yeah. Usually. Um, and then Sherwood, great map. Everyone plays on it. It's also but also it's, it's it's polarizing. And it's it's almost like overplayed. Not as much fun for me. Um, Very channel -y. The channels are kind of... Yeah, it's like, okay, are you range? Cool, then you might play on Sherwood. Like there's a good chance you want to play in Sherwood, and uh, yeah, just it's yeah polarizing channels again. So, and I, I'm just more of a fan of the move for maps. Move I do for like, I, I, yeah, I do like maps that have a bit more of an active center. Right. Uh, and Sherwood is just very channely, kind of all the way through the center of it. You really want to stay out of for the most part, yep. unless you're Medusa or you know, whatever. So um, what's your uh, what's your what's it? Uh, Teen Spirit. Okay. Uh, just because the competitive all, I believe that's that's definitely part of it but even within the set it feels very imbalanced um, so if I was just gonna like pick one set as like I love this set you know like cloak and dagger super cool fighter mm -hmm. not very good mm -hmm. miss Marvel super cool fighter very easy to play around and right. squirrel girl not very good and also annoying to both play as and against yeah they all have cool effects they all have cool ish abilities um and they like had serious potential but i think they could all have just used like i think maybe they looked at it and they were like man these abilities are really strong you know or they could be abused like mm -hmm. really heavily and so they nerfed them into the ground and like they could have all used a pretty significant buff and this is where i like play testing like I'm sure they did, but like uh, pretty serious playtesting would have really helped a lot of them. Yeah, and we could see like I would have loved to see Cloak and Dagger as a competitively viable set of characters. They could each have ten health and still be not broken. What's interesting? You know? uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, right, right. They they could have because they bust. need both of them. They if they were them. if they were like over tuned though, that might have been one of the scariest sets. Like one of the scariest fighters ever, because imagine yeah. if they were too good. When with think about their ability, like winning by combat by two, Dude. like if they were too good, you're always pl like they would have been. I they, think have been. A they problem. still have the ability to like sweep potentially, but it's just they so can hard. win anything. They can just die yeah. so they just die so quickly. they die so quickly. The I think um, people they looked at their offensive capability and the damage output because it's like we looked at it, it's higher than almost anybody. Uh, right in a single turn, you can just you can decimate somebody. But yeah. they looked at it and they were like, "Eh, we can't, we can't give them too much health." But then the problem is, is that right. fighters who are like ranged, or who yeah. can just focus on one fighter, right? It's really hard to keep the other person alive. And then the movement's just too low. Okay. Yeah, movement's too low. Um, my next set. So this would be my number. I have a shocker. Probably. Yeah, you do. Probably. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go to my. Well, maybe not. Where is my... There it is. There it is. Now we're talking. Um, all right. So my number 14 is Teen Spirit. So we just talked about it. Um, I I really like the set. B, B tier and higher, I just I really do love. But um, I really like the set. Love the map. Love Navy Pier. And... Um, 
Yeah, uh, Miss. Mar- I, I really, I, I really enjoy Miss Marvel. Yeah, and I really enjoy. I played a lot of Miss Marvel. I, I used to play. I was cranking out a lot of Miss Marvel games. Um, but the map dependence on all three. This, this is the most map dependent uh, group of sure. fighters. They need to have map pick. They're almost to, to have any chance on a lot of maps. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's a big part of it. Um, but I do enjoy the set. Uh, my next. Oh yeah, I just did it. Fourteen. So what's your fourteen? Uh. Sattler T-Rex. Jurassic Park 2. That's offensive. I know. To me. Yeah. That's fine. Um, here's the thing. I'm not shocked that you say that. But, yeah. But, but I, it is interesting. It's a, it's an interesting thing. We, we've we talked about the set balance, uh, and we didn't spoil anything for people. Worth buying. Definitely a set. This is where, like, all the sets for me also from here on out are, like, I really like them. Right. Even T-Rex Sattler. Sattler's an interesting fighter and hard to play against. But also like very matchup dependent. T Rex is also just really fun for a while, but you realize she's kind of a one trick dino. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a, the game is pretty. It's like okay, this is what's gonna happen. I know exactly how this game's going to go. Right. Also, really map, really needs map. Um, mm-hmm. So, like, that's the thing for me is, and also just within the set as well, very polarized one way, like very favored one towards one fighter mm-hmm. um so that's that's why for me and it's only it's only two fighters and in terms of competitive viability t-rex used to be like s tier way higher right and now she's like maybe b she's like yeah because b. of how we play with no full advantage now right yeah. really really nerfed her yeah um okay yep don't hate it um all right my number 13 is this is a this is the the shockeriest uh, one I think, and this is the last one in B tier for me. Uh, this is Redemption Row, hmm. Redemption Row number thirteen. The reason is I don't like the artwork. I don't like the map. It is it's probably the worst. Never played. <laughs> I like I like. It, yeah. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's just never but I, played. But I don't want to ever go there. <laughs> yeah. So if I never want to go there, it's not a great map. Um, I'd rather go to Yukon. I picked Yukon way more than I picked uh, the raft. The raft. I forgot the name of it. Um, and the artwork. Not a fan. I know a lot of people are like super excited about the art style. Not a fan at all. Give me what's his name who did all of Battle Legends Volume One. Uh, uh, oh shoot! What's his name? Brains and Brawn, I believe. D? He's done so many good sets. Uh, he did. Um, uh, Is it Dave? Really? All this. Yeah, well, yeah. Mo- most of this was him. Um, oh, he's yeah, he's his art. Really good. Great. I forgot his name. I had it in my head, but um, yeah, not a fan of that style, and it like it really just like turns me off to it. Now I I love Luke Cage and I love Moon Knight. Mm-hmm. I hate Ghost Rider, so that makes it easier to put it down here. Sure. Um, but yeah, thirteen, Redemption Row. My 13 is Robin Hood Bigfoot. We talked about it. Uh, both just really solid fighters, but yeah, they're kind of bland. Great maps. Mm-hmm. Um, like, it is probably still, like, probably if, I, if I'm if i going to tell somebody to buy a set to maybe get into the game, it's, it's a good one. Um, yeah, it was a fun one because it was super balanced. It was a good two-person set. set. It's yeah. incredible. Balance. It was a great two-person set. You play it and you're like, oh, this is really cool because Robin Hood can't block for more than three. Bigfoot's hitting with sixes, and just the way that's very movement, very movement dependent. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and it's it's they're still like such good. They're fighters that get you good at the fundamentals. Um, yeah, especially especially Bigfoot, but Robin Hood also. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's also but it's just kind of. Meh. What tier are we in right now with you? For me, we're in B. So where were, where were your other fighters in their tiers? I actually didn't have a D tier. Okay, so no D. You just start at C. I just started at C. I respect that. Um, and then, how many were in C? Three. Okay, so the bottom, bottom three, three were in C, and now then these are all in B. These are all in B so far. Okay. Um, so the first one in my A tier is Hell's Kitchen. Mm. Uh, and that's at 12. And what bumps it up for me and what I really enjoyed was is honestly my favorite thing about that set is the map. I love Hell's Kitchen. I love 
how game changing that token is. It is it's so fun to play around. Um, most of the games that I play, I get the tokens, uh, which is exciting. Um, the ones that I care about, at least. Mm. Um, sometimes, of course, I don't, but and it's still fun. I still enjoy it because now I've got this this hurdle um, to overcome. But especially now with the whole split advantage, when you pick a map like this, you know you're not getting the choice, so yeah. they could be getting it, and it's it's super risky to pick it, but it's fun to to pick it still. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hell's Kitchen. Uh, Daredevil has has risen for me, uh, and then uh, Bullseye. I've always loved Bullseye. Um, and then the artwork is some of my favorite in of all the sets. It's just really, really solid artwork. Mm -hmm. um, just the whole theming of it really feels good. And every fighter can win in that set, which is cool. Yeah, it, it's the it's one of the first sets that I was like, oh, this is cool. Because outside the Three set... Three very different fighters. Outside the set, they could not be like farther from each other. Right. They are right. as spread out almost as Yeah, it's like be. boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Okay. What's um, your number 12? Uh, number 12 is Battle Legends Volume 1. Okay. Just because I do like the fighters in the set. My favorite in the set is definitely Alice. Um, but you're right. The, the maps are, are huge. Yeah. Uh, they, I think this is really good for a 1v1v1v1 or a 2v2. Okay. If you guys want to play like that, this is a great, great one for that. But... Um, yeah, Alice is really the only one who I really like out of the set, and she's not, like, amazing. But good value, and, uh, yeah, just fun. All the fighters are, are, like, I think have fun abilities for the most part. Mm -hmm. Even Medusa. Her, her, it's fun to, to, it's, uh, to do it. Really well-designed fighter. It's so fun when you can ping somebody. Uh, but, yeah. It's abusive. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's tough. Okay. My number 11 is Deadpool. So wow. Deadpool is number 11. We're still in A tier. And just, I, I just, I'm a big fan of Deadpool. So fun. Uh, the, the different cards, the 30 different cards. Only fighter that has that. Um, <sighs> the art, all the, the, just the weight, the whole package of it. I remember opening that package. I was just like, getting so excited. It, it was it so really, excited. He's a really um, and what I love about him is he is so hard to win with uh, in most matchups he's very very hard to win with Yeah. and um, yeah, so does. I get like when I play against Riker he gets to be whoever he wants and he always gets to choose who I am and he always chooses Deadpool <laughs> because I have 10 health uh, and I and I don't have many options at different things and he doesn't it doesn't care he doesn't need to know like and guess like what I'm going to play because he he, can't, he wouldn't do that anyways, right? He's not going to be able to deduce, oh, he must be playing this card. It's just like, okay, cool, what would you play? All right, neat. That's cool, I haven't seen that one before. Like, it's just like a fun experience for him. Mm -hmm. uh, and he can win uh, the, the games. So I enjoy playing Deadpool. I enjoy, I enjoy him a lot. I wish he was played. Like, when we do the battle ladders, um, in the, I don't know, I forget what we, what we call them actually, but like in the, in the ladder... Dude, everything's sounding weird now that I'm saying it. In the ladder seasons, that's what it's called, right? Ladder? Yeah. <laughs> dude, it sounds so weird. Um, <laughs> uh, in the, I, I, okay, so. I we, have no words. <laughs> going back. <laughs> I worked out today, right? And and then we went to uh, went to lunch with Courtney's uh, brother and um, his family. And we, we ate at, Pop, not Popeye's, what's the other chicken one? Bojangles. It was good. Undid everything I did at the, at the gym. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then I got home. Guys, I, I was reading. There were all these cars just lined up on the road for no reason. They were off to the side. Like, they had talked with each other, like, we're going to do this. This is a plan. We are doing it. Like, hundreds of cars. Cars. I have no idea what they were doing. Where? On 46A. What the heck? Don't know what they were doing. We, I looked it up on my phone. I called, I called uh, Sanford, like, City Hall and stuff. <laughs> had no idea what was going on. What the heck? I have no idea. Uh, we looked down the road. There was like a train stopped. Were they all going to the train? I don't know. Um, it was so weird. Um, anyways, I was doing all that research on the drive home. Got super sick. Came home, laid down, got up, threw up like seven times. That's the Bojangles, for sure. 
That was Bojangles. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Too greasy, too much food, uh, too much Mountain Dew. And, uh, there you go. So, yeah. And also... A little food. woozy. And then I worked out today. But, um, yeah. yeah, guys. Fitness tips from Captain Crackpot. <laughs> Dude, you know what? This is random. You know what I... I It's like the perfect post-workout meal, in my opinion. And also, I wish there was one on every corner of every street, everywhere. Wait, let me guess. You get, Chipotle would be my guess. Uh, there is one on every street. Oh, you want this to be on every I street? I want this to be on every street. Uh, Sonic. Grub, Grubhub. What am I... I get it all the time. Churros. <laughs> no. I don't get... I don't get churros. You get this food all the time? What am your I? Your mom's at? cooking. Dude, I would if your mom had a restaurant, I would eat there every single day. No, but she's amazing. She's an amazing chef. Fresh Kitchen. I love Fresh Kitchen. It's amazing. I didn't know you get Fresh Kitchen. What do you mean get Fresh Kitchen? I, I get Fresh, fresh Kitchen to your I house get more all the than time. you do. No way. No, I, I really don't because I'm not that rich. I bring Fresh Kitchen to Jimmy Hula's so when we go dude, to Jimmy Hula's. So, I invented doing that. <laughs> don't talk to me about bringing food to another restaurant. That's my move. <laughs> Um, dude, what yes, fresh kitchen. Citizen. Fresh kitchen is is well. I only it's do that like, so if we good. we go like with like nine people. We bring nine people over to Jimmy Hula's. All right, we're gonna have. You can do at that point. You can bring in yeah, a different meal. It's fine. That's it's legal. Okay. What? Buy a drink. Where were we at? What are we talking about? I right can't now? remember. Oh, is it my? No, your number. Your number eleven. What is it? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Let me count. You didn't. I don't have them numbered. Okay, so uh, uh, I know what it is. Go for it. Brains and brawn. Okay. All right. Yeah. Why? Um, so, <laughs> like, the, because a, a few of the fighters... Waffle House. Nice. <laughs> Great post-workout. <laughs> um, because they shouldn't... A few of them shouldn't exist as they do, I think. Like... Okay. I, I, I do think, like, Spider-Man honestly could use right. a bit of a... Buff. Yeah, just a, a little, just a little bit. He's close. Yeah, he's um, close. And he's got some good weapons, but just he does not have good <laughs> defense, really. Mm -hmm. um, and then Doctor Strange is too strong. He's just, he's too strong. I love playing Doctor Strange. And he's not unbeatable. He's definitely not unbeatable. But um, he is just probably, I, I really feel bad when I play him, usually. Like, really fun. But, like, I feel bad for the other You're person. playing tonight. This is going to be fun. Guys, stay tuned. 9.45. we got to wrap this up. But 9.45, you're playing Doctor Strange. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. Uh, you get, you're playing Doctor Strange. I'm playing Bloody Mary. And there's a twist. <laughs> All right. But, uh, okay. So, so yeah. I agree. Yeah. Sort of. Um, and then She-Hulk is just also, like, the two of the fighters are super annoying to play against. Annoying. That's, that's true. Really strong. And, like, they're good. And they have fun moments. But, like, in general, they're just kind of like, eh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. My number 10 is Cobble and Fog. What? Yeah, great set, not competitively valuable. Uh, I really enjoy, I sure. love Dracula. I really enjoy playing Sherlock, even. Um, I love I love the game that Sherlock oh, plays. Yeah. It's annoying, I'm sure, but I enjoy it. And it's very Sherlock, uh, I love playing as, as Invisible Man. I don't enjoy playing as Jekyll and Hyde. Um, the maps are really great, really great. I've come around on Soho, and I came around on, on basketball very quickly. Oh, to my favorite maps. Uh, great maps. And then what drops it down for me, the artwork, again. Uh, now, not the artwork of the cards. Specifically, the back of the cards. Not a fan at all of the, door? of the doors. The, if, you, if you take a magnifying glass and look at those doors, you will be like, what was this made on, like, Microsoft Paint? Uh, so... The cards themselves, very beautiful cards, and the doors are not great. And the color, colors, the whole theme of the of the whole set is great, guys. It's meant to be dark. It's, and it's number one on the field. It feels great. Yeah. But not a fan of the doors. I like the idea of the doors. The art of the doors is, is bad. Okay, hear me out. Don't misunderstand me. The idea is perfect. The the doors are great idea. Execution. The execution was poor. Uh, your number was at ten. What a travesty! Okay, by the way, I uh, I have like five in each of the tier, other than the C tier. And we gotta go faster. So I'm I'm in A tier now. We go way faster. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Little Red Beowulf. Okay. Yeah. Why? Uh, <laughs> Hayrot, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of Hayrot. Uh, but both the fighters I really like. Great. Especially Little Red. Number nine, uh, Little Red Riding Hood, uh, uh, Beowulf set. Same thing. Hayrot, not a fan of it. 
Uh, don't like the doors very much. Flying. We're flying. We gotta uh, get Little Red's one of my favorite fighters of all, of all time. Beowulf is one of my favorite fighters of all time. Can't play him anymore, though, unfortunately, in competitive. It's, uh, and Little Red, I don't find myself ever playing her either. She's so risky to play. It's unfortunate. As we saw. But that set has moved down. It would have been, it used to be like my number one. Um, Probably same. But yeah, it has dropped. It has Probably dropped. It has dropped. Um, also, Cult of the New is a big factor. These, Cult of the New, big, big deal. Um, all right, my number eight. Oh, I just said my number nine. Uh, what's your number nine? Uh, Hell's Kitchen. Um, for aforementioned reasons. I actually do. Bullseye's fun. I really like Daredevil. And I don't hate Elektra. I don't I, hate Elektra either. I, I think she's she, she needs to exist. She, and she's really... She's, I, I, I always have a good time when I play Elektra. Saying that is so offensive to so many people. I, I know it's offensive. But okay. Yeah. Um, Just ban her out. Alright, my number eight, Brains and Brawn. And... Where are we at? Are we in? Are we no. This is the very last one of A tier. So number eight is Brains and Brawn, and I love the set. Really do. I love the map, Sanctum Sanctorum. I love that it brought a move three, super cool, and move three map that works for everybody. It works for range, works for melee, really cool items, super fun. Uh, it it buffs Bloody Mary. It buffs uh, Black Panther. It buff it buffs a lot of the weaker non-movement fighters. Uh, Cloak and Dagger can play there. Mm -hmm. um, there. There's a lot of people that want to play there that, that get a good helped out. Yeah. Um, and then I love Spider-Man. The artwork of that set is one of my favorites of all, of all time. And, and Spider-Man is my favorite of all time. So, like, of the art. Just, the art is, is a big big factor for me. Uh, and then it's fun. It's fun to play. Uh, but it is, all the problems that you pointed out are the reason why it is as low as it is. Mm -hmm. Number... That was my number eight. What's your number eight? Number eight for me is Moldean Raptors, or Engine Raptors. Okay. Um, partly because I, as we talked about before, Muldoon is a really interesting fighter um, and kind of annoying to play against, but also, like, still really, I think, really well designed. Really, right. Really interesting ability. And then Raptors for me are, like, one of my favorite fighters to play. Super fun, um, very thematic, uh, just... You, you feel like you're you feel like, like you feel like the Raptors right. when you're when right. playing the Raptors and Raptor Paddock, phenomenal map. Yes, it's super good. Yes, number seven is Engine Raptors, uh, same, uh, incredible set. No no negative things to say about it at all. Beautiful set. Uh, number that's my number seven. I keep forgetting that I am I'm, I'm following you because I'm saying the same thing. After Can we you? spend a little bit more time on our top like five or three or something? We, we maybe we're running low. Maybe like, yeah 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 yeah. But let's go. <laughs> All right, uh, Redemption Row for what, me. This is your number seven. Uh, seven. Number Good. seven, yep. Redemption Row. Uh, I, and that was S tier, guys. We're in S tier now, by the way. I'm in still A tier. I still have two more. I'm in S tier This for is me. my second to last A tier. Okay. Uh, Moon Knight carries the set. He is still probably my favorite fighter, if, if maybe top two or three, but probably yeah. my favorite. Um, such a well-designed character. Right. Luke Cage and Ghost Rider I used to hate so, so much. I've come around on Luke Cage. I understand that he needs to exist. Yeah. And uh, he's not as annoying to play against anymore. Um, and Ghost Rider. Luke Cage is so fun to play against. He, I used to hate playing against him so much because I used to play like more chippy fighters. Okay. He's just impossible. Right. But like, I now I play a good mix and I enjoy playing a good okay. mix. And there are ways to beat Luke Cage. So, mm -hmm. um, even with like Houdini, you know. Um, mm -hmm. um, and then. Uh, Ghost Rider, I understand. Like he, also really interesting. He's super hated, super counter picky, but really interesting fighter. And I, I don't hate him, honestly. Oh look at that! That's awesome. So, so Bromantic says, I wish I could clip that noise you just made. Don't know what that is. But then he goes, Oh no, you just ruined those back art. I never noticed how mediocre they really are. For the Cobble and Fog guys, I'm telling you, look at your Cobble and Fogs. It is disappointing. Uh, if you really take a, take a look at those. Um, all right. And then compare them to, like, the really good card backs, which is, like, every other set. Oh, my gosh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Isn't that disappointing? Um, Dracula's probably the best one. His is not. Yeah. Um, okay, so my number six is Sattler <laughs> and T-Rex. And you love Sattler. I love Sattler. Sattler fanboy. Uh, I also love, I do love, I do I really enjoy T-Rex. 
the map is great. We use that map a lot. Um, the movies, just the, the movie, the theme, all of it really comes through. It's really good. So that's why it's so high for me. Um, what is your number six? Number six used to be my number one by Kyle Long Fog. Okay. Uh, I love every single fighter in that set. Sherlock right. was my first love before I just got into competitive unmatched and before like I realized how broken he was. Um, he, like the, the set in terms of theming is mm. probably the best. It's, or, yeah, or, in, in, yeah. Yeah, and, and I love playing every single fighter in that set. Yeah. Um, even Sherlock, you know, he is very, you feel like Sherlock comes when you're playing him. You're like yep. deducing and trying to figure out. And, um, so, yeah, Jekyll and Hyde, Invisible Man 2 is still just some of my favorite fighters. Yep. Thematically. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my, my number five, so now we're getting to his S tier. We've already been yeah. in my S tier since seven. Uh, my number five is Houdini Genie. Reason being, I don't play Genie very much. But when this set came out, guys, it was like Dude. my, it was easily the best set yeah. um, for me, number one. Uh, love Solomon's Mind. I still love Solomon's Mind. Same. Yeah, it's problematic for some people and it's annoying for some people. But don't go there. You know, just ban it out. If you don't want to go there, ban it. Um, if you want action. Yeah, and then it's been a super, super fun map. And then uh, it fixed the problems with Baskerville, which was, which was cool. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, just the most action-packed set you can get. Yeah. So it is so fun to just go pop yeah. pop 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 and both cards and exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Both of them just so much action, so much action. That's why it is number five for me. And the art when this came out, the most beautiful art, the minis, um, it's just really really good. Beautiful yeah. beautiful set. And it was the it was the the contest winners winners, which was a really exciting little like neat thing that Restoration did. Mm -hmm. By teaming up with the, the people that, that made it and, and made it really good. Dude, um, I have, yeah. We'll yeah, we have, guys, we've had got, we've gotten gold out of we'll get there. the contest. The last, like, five sets that have come out, too. Yeah. Eh, the last, yeah. Almost last five. Yeah. Are, like, ama like amazing. They've gotten, they've, they've just consistently gotten better and better and better and better. And better. And better. Right. Um, line number five is Sun's Origin. Ooh! Yeah. I, this was my number. This the top five for me was super hard. Okay. Uh, and bumping Cobble and Fog down was hard. But Sun's Origin, I love. There is the most. I like, we haven't talked about this at all, and I and this is very cool. Yeah. This is cool. I did not think we'd we be have this a lot close. Of overlap actually. In our We're very close, and we've not talked about this at all. No, we haven't. Okay. Uh, I I love Tomoe. She's just she keeps rising for me so on the good. tier list as well, like in terms of competitive viability mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Super good. Uh, Oda is kind of sad that he's not as good, but like, dude, in the set too, it's like the most thinky. Yes. When we played that, that was the most I have like thought about Unmatched in such a long time. Right. And it's super fun if that's yep. what you're in the mood for. And their abilities are really cool. Yeah. And just the, uh, yeah, the, the interactions in that are, are really, really fun. Um, uh, Azuji Castle is interesting. Yeah. And the interesting artwork, map. Oh, dude, the artwork is so good. Mm, chest kiss. But only two fighters. That's the only reason. Yep. Only thing against it. My number four is Sun's Origin. Uh, everything you said. Uh, it's so good. It is so good. But it's not my top three. That's the only knock in it. Is it's not top three. Yeah. Because it's, the other ones are better. I love Sun's Origin. It's so good. All right. What is your number four? Number four. Uh, this is tough. Um, but my number four was Battle of Legends Volume 2. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, dagger to the heart. I love every single fighter in that set mm -hmm. so much. They're all still really good. Mm -hmm. Mary. But Mary is still like super so, scary. Right. Like that if if anything to like her scariness and her ability to just pull out some crazy plays and stuff. Yeah. Or it, she she still is like really solid into faintless especially. Um yeah. But uh everyone else too is is still like super good really fun uh the double attacks are really fun to play around the map help uh hang garden is probably my favorite map still it's a, yeah, yeah it, absolutely it might be but it's, it's probably it's is. so good such a good map uh and they're all super strong hmm. they're all strong um they all have ways to win into one another 
honestly, they all have ways yeah. to, to win. Uh, Achilles is tougher, but he's still, like, he has just stayed consistently good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Super fun. My story. number three, I get to talk about it, and it's, I was surprised. Tales to Amaze is my number three. Um, I'm sure that most people have it at, at one, because you can't ignore the value that it brings. Mm. But the more I thought about it, I don't, like, I love Jill Trent. I really enjoy Golden Bat. I really like Tesla. I like Annie Christmas. I don't love them as much as the other things I love, as much as the other sets. So it's a really good set, super solid set. Everything about it is super solid. Mm -hmm. But it's not as good as my number one and my number two, as far as my just my, my heart for them. So that's why they're not as, it's not as high. It's interesting. So we, okay, so Tales to Amaze is my number three as well. And okay. value is huge, but you're right. I think, uh, I, I, I This really is where like, I, I think IP, where, this is where IP plays a factor a, a little bit. bit. For, well, it's not that for me. It, it's also just maybe not, maybe not, yeah. Unmatched Adventures is is really fun. I really like it. It's, but I just prefer the head to head nature. Yeah, this is great for playing with friends and family, but also like I really like Nikola Tesla, I really like Jill Trent, and I really got I like Golden Bat. But Annie, I'm also just she's kind of like I like her, but she's not really my, you know, style. Yeah. Uh, and the maps are too big. They're huge. I and I understand their design. They have to be that way. To, to be that way. And uh, and the fact that they work competitively is cool. It is cool. It's really cool. Um, I yeah, McMinnville yeah. man, not not a fan of McMinnville. But it's, those the, the three polarizing. fighters that I mentioned, Golden Bat, Tesla, and Jill, are so well designed. Yeah. yeah. Really strong, but not too strong. Yeah. Which is perfect. And they're all really fun. And Annie's also really fun. And Annie was made, she's a great, like, she's super strong if you're playing her in Tales to Maze. Like, she can heal, you know, and she can teleport people around. And so she's super strong in that in that realm, uh, 2v2 she's as well. She's pretty strong in the set, too. Yeah. I remember when we first played, I played Annie, like, the, the first, like, four or five games we played. Yeah. I think I didn't lose. It was weird. We were right. like, how, we, didn't, like we, didn't, we thought she was so strong. We did not realize how to get past Mississippi Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're like, what do we do? Yeah. Or Charlie. Like, we're yeah. like, Charlie was a, was a, yeah. Oh, it was a, it was a, it was a nightmare. But, uh, uh, yeah. Number two for me is Battle of Legends Volume 2. Mm. Uh, so good. So good. Art, double attacks, hanging gardens. Every single fighter is fun. Totally Every awesome. single fighter is competitively viable, except. Yeah. For Bloody Mary, who's arguably the most fun to play out of all of them, so it doesn't matter as much. It makes up for it. It makes up for it. It's an incredible set. The I, I already said it. The artwork just so good. Mary's art is that set is so good. Mo, Mo, Mary's art is so good, but I can't like display it. You know, it, I yeah, thought about Levi. Well, look at me and be like, what? Like, why yeah. is there a crawling? Why is there ghost a, that, like there's a bloody hand? Like so good. Dude. Okay, uh, that's my number two. What's your number two? This was, the, like, the top three to five were so hard for me. Uh, number two for me is King Country. Okay. Yeah, it's it's so close to being number one. Right. Because right. Widow is probably, like... One of your favorites. Probably the second favorite. Okay. The first, maybe even. It depends on the day. But I, I love Black Widow so mm -hmm. much. Uh, and I, th I, I love Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is one of my favorite Marvel characters, if not my favorite Marvel right. character. Uh, and Black Panther, like, all the fighters are super fun, mm -hmm. strong enough to play competitively. Mm -hmm. Even Panther, yes, Mitosis, he's not the best. <laughs> he, he was banned. He was in the, banned by in the, the final two by the best player in the world. The um, so Today, or this season. Yeah, I, I, we'll he's still, I do think that, uh, anyways, but so good. The mm -hmm. map as well is fun. It's great. It's it's interesting, but more more so just for the fighters. The you're mm -hmm. playing big names, they're all cool, yeah. their abilities are all really fun. Even Winter Soldiers is just like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, all right, let me stop you there. Yeah. My number one, Key and Country, yeah, it's incredible. Okay, I gotta talk about it a little bit. Sure, okay? go for it. Go for it. Uh, it is 
So obviously it's up there, one, because Black Panther, okay, my favorite fighter. But the art, awesome and different. It's a different art style. It feels like that comic booky, um, like very comic. The way the way it, this looks, the way that I wanted Redemption Road to look. Uh, the map is awesome. Really enjoy the map. It's interesting. Um, and then the fires, they're so different. This is that same thing that happened with uh, Hell's Kitchen, but way better, which is the fighters are so different, super unique. All the abilities are unique. The play styles are very different, and yet they're all balanced with each other. And it's like, how is this possible? How does this work? Um, the, some of the most fun games to play. I will not argue the fact that playing against Winter Soldier and playing against Black Panther can be very frustrating. Sure. But it does not drop it down for me. It is still the best set. There's still problems that you have to solve. There are problems you have and to solve. And they're solvable. They are solvable. Panther's clearly not broken. Winter Soldier can't move. Clearly not broken. And can get fatigued. Or it can get, um, not fatigued. Yeah. You get fatigued. <laughs> I, dude, I love, yeah, you can't really. Yeah, I, I do love, they're so good. Yeah. What's so your number good. one? Houdini, obviously. All right, Houdini. I, I was, I thought that was the one you hadn't said. Okay, I'm not, I'm not surprised. All right, tell us about it. Why? Yeah, it's just like quickly. The first time we played that was that not the most fun it was you've had? Playing incredible. Smash and so yeah, yeah. Yes. It's just what the things that both of them can pull off at just like that. They mm -hmm. can both change pace so quickly. Genie more so, but uh, they're just very action packed, very aggro. Yeah. If you want. Yeah, like they're very aggressive, and into each other. It's just it's dynamic, super dis dynamic, uh, and they're both solid. I think yep. Genie is underrated personally. He's easily one of my favorite fighters, if not my favorite as well. Um, he's underrated, but I've seen him. I've seen also, him fail more than I've seen him succeed. He's just he's just very hard. I, I do think his, I think his, very his win con is and right. Zero's talked about it as well. Like counting damage is like really key. Uh, counting cards, you mm -hmm. know, but as far as, like, what he can do, the I think one of the ways you win is just changing pace. You just, you wait for that moment when they make one slight overcommitment, and then boom, you play a card that draws you five or, you know, whatever cards. Sure. And you combo off, and sure. you yeah. can get you right back in it. He's yeah, super you used scary. to be very aware of the game state when playing against him, for They're sure. They're both super scary yeah. to play against, too, which is my, my, my favorite thing, is which is when you feel the other person, like, you just, they kind of, like, sit back in their yeah. chair a little bit they're like oh boy what's gonna happen I'm yeah. nervous <laughs> you know? cool so there you have it guys those are our top not our top those are our favorite sets all of them all 18 ranked where do you think Slings and Arrows is gonna be on your list mm. uh, uh, I have it I believe it will climb I think it's gonna climb for me all the way to number three or two and then maybe one, maybe one. Yeah. But I think it's gonna climb all the way. I think I think the the artwork already, the, uh -huh. the theme. I'm excited about the theme, uh, and, and I'm I'm just I'm excited about it all. I think it's gonna climb. It may not, but I think it's gonna be a way up there. How about you? It's it's probably gonna be like f six, five or six. For okay. Me, I think okay. I, I think it is gonna be like. It'll be. I think people have said this before, but it's gonna be, what, uh, like the new Cobble Fog. It, that's what made me excited about it. Yeah, they, yeah. They're all really interesting. But they should all be fighters. balanced really well. They'll all be balanced. Yeah. They'll, they'll all have very. They all have very unique and interesting abilities. Um, and I think they'll all. They're all going to be fairly strong. I think. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, all right, guys. We're going to wrap this up because we got another stream coming right after this. Uh, I'm going to start it right away, actually, because I'm going to have to set some stuff up because I, I was not ready. I, I thought we we're going to have some time in between. Um, but first, uh, for those who are just tuning in because of the, the random time and random point and random video, uh, <laughs> this, uh, I if you're just tuning in, I already gave the clue. I gave it in the beginning of the video, in the middle around there. I will give it one more time for you. But uh, everyone that got it earlier I got a head start. So the clue is uncontested. That's the clue. If you can find that video of mine that has this in it, you will find a comment of mine below it, and it will lead you on a journey. And the first person to get that and solve it will win a set 
an unmatched set. You get to pick from the ones that are available. And um, you have to be in America. Must be in America. Must be in the U.S. Uh, okay, because I can't, I cannot pay like two hundred dollars to ship a game to you guys. Yeah. It's out of control. So I'm, I apologize to everybody else who's listening that is not in America. You must be in America for this to 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 win this. Um, all right, we're gonna get to our next game. Let's do it. Uh, Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Crockpots. I'm not gonna even go through you guys. They know who you are. Uh... Oh, as always, this is your captain <laughs> signing off, and that's O Town. The after. What happened here was a miracle. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people. Ladies and gentlemen, you have now seen the impact. And a big shout out goes to Chick Charlie for Mantic 619 Sports. I sport. thank you for your Greg. support. Couldn't be more proud. Oh, um, Get a hot soul. You and I are a team. Nothing is more important than our friendship. We need you, man. I have you to thank. Couldn't have done it without you. This is for you, buddy. So without further eloquence... Thank you.